humanity is doomed. Forget the endangered species. Teachers, doctors, nurses, public servants, environmentalists, scientists, engineers will all be a distant memory as career choices melt into a wave of people twerking on their kitchen counter. Welcome to the social media playlist where I make fun out of stuff on the web net. But before we get to that, the UFO report came out recently and there's a lot of debate and confusion. Let me clear this up. Has anyone just considered the simple, obvious answer that it's Darth Vader coming down to seek revenge for what Disney are doing to Star Wars? And so the concept of the influencer house was popularized by Jakey and his Ben 10 house. Now I think it is flipping time! Where they did stuff like this. Good morning, Jake Polish. What? Flipping Gucci! Today is all- I didn't even have to edit that to make him look like a turkey. Jake Paul is selling his Team 10 mansion, saying goodbye to the problem child era. The YouTuber Jake Paul is saying goodbye to his Calabasas mansion and leaving California altogether. The influencer turned boxer, that's debatable, where their leader, Jakey, has a fight coming up against someone who can actually punch. Where the face-off included one fighter and two clowns. Big fight here announced. Woodley doesn't want to fight for fights, Jake Paul. They're saying he's the new king of boxing, biggest draw there is. MMA guy saying it's all on him. Boxing versus MMA. What have you achieved in fighting Tyron asks him. Jake replies. Uh, Disney Gucci collab. <laughs> Disney Gucci collab. Disney Gucci. Comedy that writes itself. And this, to be clear, is what we call overcompensating for a career built by doing this. And so influencer houses are houses where influencers group together to make worse content than they make on their own profiles. And there are new houses popping up all over the place. And I know that because this article told me what social distancing means for the rise of influencer houses. Wasn't my first thought, to be honest. Meet the girls. Introducing the TikTok hype house. Never before have four words caused me so much nausea. Well, then again. Has there ever been a worse name for a house than that? I would have called it Villa Success or Casa del Cringe. 20 million followers, following none. Someone's been channeling their inner Chael Sonnen, gangster. The Hype House still remains one of TikTok's most popular content houses. And while others have tried to reach their level of fame, for the most, they fail to do so. Not being chosen for that house is not failure. That's what we call dodging a bullet for your dignity. What is the Hype House? Think Jake Paul's Team 10 or David Dobrik's The Vlog Squad? The Hype House is a group of teens who make TikToks together in LA. Unlike Ben 10 though, there is no de facto leader taking a percentage of the profits. They all just share out the straight cash money from tweens clicking on their posts. Basically the TikTok version of Billie Eilish. Speak up a bit, can't hear ya. Uh, like, like three more TikToks, right? <laughs> person is 100% lying, that is not true at all, that is complete bullshit. <laughs> this whole house is designed for productivity. Thomas Petru, who spends his time doing this. He's the productive one in the middle. Forget your ergonomic productivity setups, just go to the hype house. Who's Buffer? Still buffering, I think. Who's Buffer? Michael Buffer? Who's Buffer? Bruce Buffer. But hold on, because a hype house contains superstars such as... Vacker, a gazillion followers, because he makes art like this. Dreamy mate is what that is. Has anyone told you you're too cool for school? Go straight past go and chill. The Beatles need to take a seat because artistic expression has never been as strong as it is in the year 2021. And Petru TV, gym showers hit different. You should try it with the water on, mate. That'll blow your mind. And when they collaborate for the TikTok house, this happens. Just so you are aware, that has 1.4 million views. Basically Trinidad and Tobago. Never have I seen such a talentless bunch of people in my life. Actually. Okay, here we go. So he's got a bench, some weights. I'd imagine that one will involve the pushing of the other. Or not? How to sum up McDreamy's video genius in one simple bodily movement? And where there is a gap in humanity's pride, there's Bang Energy. And so the Hype House is clearly sponsored by Bang Energy, and they've essentially just been reduced to being a sales funnel for this guy. Ah. Hashtag life goals, gotta pay the electric bill somehow. So we now live in a world where those stupid dances you did where you were 13 at break time to try and make your two friends laugh are a legitimate career path to make money. This is stupid. <laughs> You are so mundane to watch that I can't even think of a smart ass joke here. Alright, so I'm gonna be showing Jake the new Tesla horns. Woo! Oh, damn, he's thick. Guns. What next, lads?
next, Wave House. Move over Val Kilmer, there's a new entrant for worst Batman ever. I apologise Val, I do quite like you but I just needed an intro. And so I'm from England and we contribute many things to the world such as Peter Crouch, Fish and Chips and The Wave House. What's that you say? Just the most creative bunch of renaissance artists of their time? Mummy and Daddy's money has never been so well spent. Can't they just go on a never ending holiday to find themselves or something instead of this? That is not British money you absolute biscuits. So a lot of people have been calling us talentless. Well that's a stretch. And so when there's a new member to contribute absolutely no quality at all to their videos, they do this reveal where they put a pimped up bag for life on their heads and then take it off. Too fast, I'm not furious. Just bored. Mummy, I forgot my dress shoes. Can you courier them to me? They'll be there Tuesday, Jimbo. Just put the red ones on. No one will notice. Introducing Aqua Boy. And so what are your superpowers, Aqua Boy? Clearly not decline push-ups. Have you considered not doing them from a sink in the most cringe-worthy house tour skit ever? Because to be clear, the humour collapsed about as much as your core. There's a Hawkeye joke in there somewhere. This is the weirdest Tomb Raider ever. Tara Croft. And I'll just leave this one with you. Caption these nuts. Definitely not a cult, is my entry. Influencers announced soon. What do you want to see the house knocked down and replaced with the Nandos? 